Ah, it's time for a little French cuisine. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DX9 La Hire. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, yeah, we have a nice image of La Hire. His name is La Hire, and in case you are wondering what the scale of this figure is, it says it right here on the box. Its size is matched with the MPM series. Let's you know right on the box. Isn't that nice? I saw the box zero three La Hire on the other side La Hire bloody bloody up top La Hire on the bottom La Hire warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very very bad for you DX nine bloody 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 on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you even have a little stuff here and things and things and stuff about the toy and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have La Hire, which is DX9's take on the last night hot rod, or as he would say, Je m'appelle Hutrud. But here we have Hot Rod in his vehicle mode, and let's get in close here, so we can take a look at the details. You have that transparent plastic there for the headlights with the silver painted underneath. You get a nice orange trim going across the bottom. Got the windshield wipers molded in. You have a very, very dark, smoky, transparent plastic there for the windshields and the windows. The rims done in silver. Got the side view mirrors here. You can see, very nicely done, very sleek. On the back here, got some more of that orange. And there is. The top, there is the bottom. You kind of have visible head syndrome, kind of. If you lift his head up here, you can say, Hutrud! You can kind of do that, you know, but yeah. He rolls, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. He does have rubber tires. And there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the Deluxe Last Night Hot Rod. Here he is with the... TF Evo <laughs> Hot Fire. The only reason I don't like this toy is because it made me have to transform that again. Anyway, But here he is with the TF Evo Hot Fire. And as you can see, the X9 version is a little bit bigger. Let me get a good shot here for you. You can see the TF, I mean the, uh, the uh, DX9 version is a bit larger than the TF Evo version. So, there you have that. Get out of here. Here he is with Unique Toys Lockdown. And Lockdown's a little bit bigger there than La Hire. Here he is with Unique Toys Last Night Prime. Here it is with Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. And here it is with Masterpiece Movie, Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So now let's talk about accessories. Uh, the first thing you get here is his gun to stop the time. You can see. Very nicely detailed. You got some nice bright blue paint on there. So you got that. And you also get... This other gun, which is basically the same as his Stop the Time gun, just without this section on it. And it also has this little uh, magazine that you can pull out. It just clips in. You can plug it onto this one if you want. So you can do whatever you want there. So you get the two guns. You do get an effects part here, done in transclear and yellow. You can plug this into either of the guns so we can bloosh he can do some blooshing he can do some blooshing bloosh so you can do a little bit of blooshing if you want and no the siege effects parts don't work on these guns they don't fit just in case anyone's curious and the last accessory you get is the little lady you'll get the little lady 
And as you can see, there's not much to her. She doesn't really have much of a face. <laughs> you can see her hair's painted black. Her clothes are painted black. Not a whole lot to her. She's got some sick high heels, though. That's just, wow. And uh, as far as articulation, the arms can rotate. Legs can move forward. They can move back. You got a knee joint. And that's pretty much it. And just for a quick comparison, here it is with a Human Alliance figure. And you can see it is a bit smaller. And your Human Alliance figs. And you can take the little lady here. And Hot Rod's doors can actually open. You just have to kind of pull the door forward here to untab it. And you just kind of pull it back on this armature. You can bring it up and you actually have little seats on either side here. And you can take the little lady and just get her seated. She doesn't actually secure anywhere, unlike the Human Alliance figures. There's no little peg or anything to plug into the seat. She just kind of, you know, you can sit her in there, but she's just going to kind of rattle around in there because she's not really secure. But, hey, you can have her in the car if you want her in the car. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much right out of the movie. Like, ah, little lady, don't hit me again. Anyway, but... There you have Hot Rod, Hot Rod, and see it's a lady, as you see how it scales there with the vehicle mode. She doesn't really stand all that well because she has those wicked high heels. There you go. So there is Hot Rod with the little lady. Now another little feature here of the vehicle mode is uh, back here. The rear spoiler can actually uh, raise up a little bit if you want it to. You can have that going on. You can just have it sitting down flush. So hey. A little bit of display option there, if you want it. And as always, options are good. So, hey, thing you can do if you want to do it. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> you can't really spin on rubber tires. But let's get down to it. So first thing we are going to do is we're going to open up the doors. So again, just kind of pull those doors forward, bring them out. And just bring them up on the armature here, bring them up, on top, and just bring that up. You want to take the seats and just flip them down, like so. Once you've done that, you want to come to these sections here with the wheels and just untab those, like that, and like that. And once we have done that, we have to come down here. I need to raise up here so you can see right here. We, <laughs> we want to come to these little metal clips right here. They clip into his arms. You just bring those out and bring those out. There we go. Bring those out. And then we can untab the arms. You can say tab in right in there. So there's a lot of security here in the arms. They tab in in two places to keep them in place. So once you do that, you can just kind of bring these arms up a bit, get them out of the way. And now that we have done that, we can come to these little panels here and we can just untab those and just kind of swing those forward. Untab that, swing that forward. You can see that kind of frees up this right here. And now we can kind of come back here and Split what will be his legs. It's kind of free all this up here. That helps us get under here, under this panel, to pop this up. And we can now raise all of this up like that. And it helps to just kind of bring these sections down, rotate them down, just get them out of the way. Once you've done that, just kind of bend the section forward. This section here will slide back like that. And now we're going to come back here to the front. So you want to untab the sides here of the hood section, like so. And this will come down, and this will come down, and that will sit right up. Oops, actually, before you do this, I always forget to do this. You want to bring the doors out like that and that will give you the clearance to bring this all the way down like so and then we can bring this back up and that'll stay right there and we can take these sides here and bring them in to make his chest and 
We'll finish up all that in a bit. So you want to take this section here, rotate this around. You want to bring this up and this will sit over this panel and there are these tabs right here that will go into these slots right up in there. Don't know how you can see them. There you go, there's one right there. So you just want to take all this and you want to make sure this is kind of angled up a bit so this has the clearance to get where it needs to go and just kind of bring that down push it in, boop, and that'll just find its place right there. And then you have two tabs that will go into these two slots right up here. So just bring that up. That will tab in. And there you have that. At this point now, we can take these sections, we can rotate them around, and these panels will just tuck in right in there. Bring that around. That'll tuck in right in there, like so. And then we have that. So now... Let's work on his legs. Now I will say the instructions for the legs sucked. When I got to this part in the instructions, I was totally confused. I had to watch a video to see how to transform his legs. Um, it is pretty, you know, it's pretty straightforward, but still it was like the way the instructions had to lay it out was kind of confusing. But you want to take this panel here. You want to untab this, it tabs in two places. So untab that right there. And you want to bring the leg out so you can swing this little section out like that. Bring this out. You want to rotate the leg at the knee here. So you have it like so. You want to untab this section here. Just bring that out. This section with the wheel will rotate around like so. And you then want to split this section here like that. Open that up. And then you can straighten the leg out. This will sit right in here. And then this will tab in right there like so and you can take this panel right here flip that in rotate this around and this will come forward and just tab itself in boop, right there and the last thing we need to do here is finish off his foot this section here is on a spring as you can see so you want to press that in and then tuck that into the foot like so and then this will just tab in right here, like that, to make his foot. And there you have a leg all done. So you just kind of bring that down, just kind of bring it around. And there you go. You got a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. So just untab all of this. Untab that. Bring that around. Rotate. You want to untab. Swing that around, flip that open, straighten all this out, that sits there, that tabs in there, and again, just press that in, flip that around into the foot, that will tab in right there, and then we just finish off with the thigh, flip that in, rotate around, bring it forward, tab it in, and voila, and then just bring the leg down. He has a little butt plate here. You just want to bring that up to complete the butt. And there you go. So, one of the last things we want to do here with his uh, lower body is we want to uh, raise up the spoiler so we can take this section here, rotate it all the way around. Then you just bring this spoiler back down. And all of this will collapse up. You got two tabs that will go into these two slots right up in there. So just bring all that up and all of that will just sit right up in there like so. Whoops. Don't come undone. There you go. And you got that. Rotate his waist around. And we are at the home stretch. And now we move on to the arms. But first up, we uh, need to just kind of bring his door wings. Just bring them back. Bring them down. Bring them back. And just bring them down like so. Oh, one more thing we have to do here is this section here of the torso does finish tabbing in. So just get a little push. Boop. And that'll just tab into place. And everything's all nice and locked like. So now we can get to the arms. So the arms shift forward right there like so. We can rotate the arm. Bring out his hand. Open up. His hand, this section right here will just collapse down, tab in right there. This section will just flip in like so. 
Bring the arm down, and we're all done. Second vest, guess what? Just like the first. So just swing that forward, rotate, bring up the hand, open up the hand, collapse that down, and tap in. Flip that in, boop, like so. Bring the arm down, and the last thing we do is we just take his head, it's on a double hinge here, just shift it back. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ooh, we're done. And there you have La Hire, aka Hutrud, in his robot mode. And I can already tell you, I love this figure so much more than Hot Fire. This figure, as you saw, the transformation is smooth, it's fluid, it's enjoyable. You hear that, Hot Fire? Smooth, fluid, enjoyable. Why aren't you any of those things? Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. So, anyway. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Tra transforming this thing again just brought back a lot of bad memories. I, had, I was having flashbacks. I'm sorry. Anyway. So that's going to close there. So we can take a look. Not at his chest. At his noggin. So here we have the hot road noggin. The hot noggin. As you can see, you got some nice blue paint there for the eyes. You got that orange there in the face. You even got some touches of silver. And all around, a very nicely done head sculpt. You got some nice bits here done in silver. You got some gunmetal gray in there, some silver, the orange. Got some gunmetal gray up in there as well. These shoulder pads, you can see they're on a hinge there, so you can kind of angle them out a little bit if you want to. Totally up to you. All you want to do that. Got some orange on the inside as well. Going down the arms. You do have some nice molded details in there. Look down the paints. Nice detail there in the abdomen. All around looks quite nice. Got the orange there on the hand. Again, some nice detail going on. Love the way this looks. Love the way it works because it actually works. <laughs> Here's the other toes, and moving up the back. As you can see, it is a very clean transformation. He just has the door wings, which he's supposed to have. So, you can see a nice detail there, even on the back there. So yeah, all in all, very, very, very well done. Now, articulation-wise, are uh, the head can rotate, he can look up, he can look down. Of course, his neck is on a double hinge, so you can kind of have that going on if you want to. I don't know why, but hey, you can use that double joint here to have him looking even higher. Be like, oh, what did you do with the squirrel? You know, you can have him doing that, you know, whatever. Hey, you know, all things you can do if you want to do it. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Again, that shoulder piece is on the hinge there, so you can angle that out a little bit. You have bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow, so you have full range of movement there. You have wrist rotation, you have that joint that allows the hand to move inward if you need it to. As far as the hands go, you have articulated fingers, thumb is on a ball joint, as well as a hinge there at the middle. Uh, the index finger is on a hinge at the base, hinge there and a hinge there, and the other three fingers or on a hinge at the base, and a hinge there, and a hinge right there. So you got that going on. Uh, you do have waist rotation uh, due to the way he transforms. You do end up with an ab crunch as well. Legs, they can move forward that far. They can move back that far. Outward that far. You got thigh rotation. You have over 90 degrees of a bend there at the knee, and you also have rotation right below the knee if you need it. And the feet, you do have a toe joint here, which moves up a little bit, and you have full levels of ankle tiltage. And of course, we can give him either of his guns, or we can give them both to him. Hey, you can do whatever you want to do. As always, your toy display it however you wish. I'm going to give him his uh, Stop Z Time gun. And as you can see, there is a slot in the handle itself. You can see there's a tab right there in his hands, and you just tab it in and wrap his fingers around it. You can't, you can't actually get his thumb sitting the right way there. There you go. Just tab that in. It does tab in quite securely. 
And we can also plug in the effects parts here, so you can stop the time with some bloosh, you know, so you can do that. If you want to, you can stop the time, stop the time, bloosh, bloosh, bang, bang, you know, you can do all kinds of that if you want. And we'll just show them off real quick with uh, the little lady. As you can see how he scales there. She doesn't want to stand because she has some wicked high heels. My God. My God. She really doesn't want to stand. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there, she, there he is with the little lady. Yay, for the little lady. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the deluxe last night's Hot Rod. Here he is with the TF Evo Hot Fire. And everybody say goodbye to Hot Fire because we're never going to see him again. He is going bye-bye. So, uh, yeah, bye-bye. Here he is with Unique Toys Lockdown. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Unique Toys Prime. He's a big boy. Here he is with Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. And here he is with Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime. This is my knockoff version, but it's the exact same toy, exact same size. So, there you go. So there you have La Hire, and oh my god, I like this so much more than Hot Fire. Oh my god, so much more. <laughs> this figure is everything that Hot Fire isn't, you know. Um, this figure is enjoyable to mess with. The transformation works. It's not frustrating. It works smoothly, fluidly. He doesn't come apart. He just does everything right. So kudos, kudos to the designers here. My only real complaint, and it's just really a nitpick, is I just wish the, uh, the little lady here um, could actually, you know, peg in somehow into the car mode when you have her sitting in the car other than just kind of rattling around in there. But yeah, that's my only real nitpick is I just wish there was a way to secure her in there. But overall, this is a very, very well done figure. The vehicle mode is solid. The robot mode is solid. Like I said, everything works as it should. It's enjoyable to mess with. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DX9's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the DX9 La Hire, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face! Ho ho! Megatron, you cannot stop me! My weapon will stop Z! How about I stop your time? How about that? I can do that. Yes, but do you have a sweet accent? Are you even doing the right accent? I, I, I have no idea. Well, you're definitely good at wasting time. I'll give you that. Wee oui, wee! Oui.